What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steve Reville Food Review. Today we stopped by IHOP to try their maple bacon milkshake. Let's check it out. All right guys, here it is, the maple bacon milkshake from IHOP. Uh, this is not the item that I actually came to review. I was gonna do the Oreo waffle bacon sundae. They, uh, they didn't have all the ingredients to make it with, so uh, had to settle for this one. Drop my straw, I got it. Uh, so I had to settle for this one anyway, the, the maple bacon milkshake, pretty much as it says, vanilla ice cream milk for the milkshake. Then a maple glaze, you can kind of see that running through, right through there, that maple glaze. And then hickory smoked bacon in a milkshake. Sounds really weird, like really, really weird. Uh, sometimes weird is good though, sometimes. Let's find out. Wow. Actually, that's not bad. <laughs> that, that's actually not bad. That's weird. I guess if you've ever had like bacon with with uh, like sweet pancakes or you know something like that with the syrup, 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 scissorp, however you say it, still the same thing. If you've done that, you know you, you got a little bit of syrup on your bacon, and uh, and you liked it because you probably liked it. I liked it. I like when uh, that sweet, that savory, bacon goes good with sweet anyway. I mean, that's, let's face it, bacon goes good with sweet. It's actually pretty good with this. A little salty, a little sweet, a little savory. There's that bacon, just one of the bacon pieces. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't think it's candied bacon because the Sunday was supposed to have candied bacon. I think this is just the regular hickory smoked bacon. Nope, that's candied bacon. Okay, so it has the hickory smoked bacon pieces inside, then the candied bacon on top. That's some really good bacon. <laughs> I could, uh, I could eat that bacon just by itself. A very odd combination uh, not something that I would probably, not something I would, I would, uh, kind of think to order as my go-to milkshake in any, any kind of way, shape, form, or fashion. Definitely not. For the novelty of it, it works. It's actually not bad. Um... Again, if you like that bacon with a little bit of sweet, then, uh, then you're gonna like this one. The price, you're not gonna like. Um, all right, get ready for this because you can see the size. Six ninety nine, <laughs> and after that bacon tax, seven fifty five for me. If it was bigger, I think the price the the, the price would fit. Uh, but for this size. And uh, for that price, they just don't match. Flavor, yeah, definitely takes you to, as, as Fietti says, take you to Flavortown for sure. On a scale of 1 to 10, though, I'm going to give this one an 8.2. I like it. Uh, I would get it again. It's just not something that would be my regular go-to. Um, would definitely recommend it. I would definitely, definitely recommend it um, at least once. Just, just to give it a try, it's uh, it's surprisingly good. The flavors work together, which they should. They should work together, and they do. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I would I would highly recommend it. Give it a try if you have an IHOP around. Uh, I I think that it's actually a little bit bigger size if you order it to stay inside. Like if you're going to get it at the table, I think it's a bigger size. Uh, I mean, don't uh, don't hold me to that because I don't know for sure. But I was just looking at the picture and looking at the glasses that they had kind of in the back. 
the, the milkshake glasses, uh, they look a little bit bigger than what would be in this cup. But anyway, uh, that is my view of the maple bacon milkshake from IHOP. And with that, I'll say good day.